I'm going to take a look at the qualitative data that I've collected for the gizmo sample. And if you recall, I asked grade 7 and 8 students about a gizmo called Ants on a Slant and what they liked about the gizmo and what they didn't like about the gizmo. And if you look down at the bottom here, I've got MS, which is Middle School Likes. And if I click here, I've got Middle School Dislikes. And then I've also got a scoring scheme. So I'll go over all three of those. So I wanted to separate the likes from dislikes because they could enter into vastly different categories. So what do I do first? Well, um, the first thing you do is you get your data into a data, uh, an Excel chart like this. And therefore, you can categorize. And I've got IDs here. And so you always want to be able to link it back to a student, but not with their personal name. And my data was anonymous anyway. So I have an ID. And so student number one, an ants on a slant, made the, these comments. OK? And so the first thing you want to do is take a look at the comment. And the comment is, uh, the graphics were good. It assuming the uh, gizmo, helped me study. Now those are two different comments, and I want to categorize those comments in some way, but they're two different comments, so they're going to have different categories. So what I have to do is separate the comments. So I'm going to insert here and put a space there. I'm then going to highlight this text and do Control-C go here and do control V. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the cell, highlight this and put it in red because I can tell and I'll put this comment in red. Okay. So what have I done here? What I've done is I've actually this now is two comments. Now it's made by the same student, but it's two different points. So basically I'm I'm assessing points. The first point is the graphics were good, and I highlight in red so I know which one I'm categorizing. And the second point is um, it helped me study. So what do I do? Um, I take a look at each comment, and so I go to the category, and the graphics were good. So I'm just going to type in graphics, if I can spell. It's a category, and I don't have any ideas or subcategories, um, but there it is. Um, and then the next one, help me study. I could put study. I think it's more involved. I'm going to say learn. It helped them learn. I might put a subcategory study to be specific about that. I don't know. I'm going to do a few more. So the concept of the site, I like the concept, and the testing was fun. Again, those are two different things. So I'm just going to do highlight row 5, and I, that's, I do that by clicking on the 5. I'm going to right click and put insert, and I'm going to highlight these, this whole comment again. Control C, or I can do right click and copy, and Control V. Then I'm going to double click on this cell which allows me to highlight just that task. And I'm going to double -dick click on that cell. And so the concept of this site, well, let's see. Let's, I'm going to say theme. Okay, They like the theme. And the testing was fun, so let's just call that assess. Okay, so that's how I start to form categories. Now, my scoring scheme. It's a good idea to um, articulate what I'm thinking of my scoring scheme as I go along. So I'm going to now go, I've got the first one, the graphics were good graphics. I'm going to go to my scoring scheme. I'm going to put in graphics here. And what I'm going to say, well, I, I choose this category when a student makes reference to the graphics, okay? I don't have um, uh, a subcategory here. Now, I might. what I might like to do is go back to likes. I'm down at the bottom here, go to the likes, 
I'm just going to highlight this control C and then go to the scoring scheme again and put control V just as an example. Now um, if I want this to text to wrap around by the way this is just an aside I can click see that arrow up here if I just click that arrow and then I do right click format cells and I'm just going to bring that in there go to alignment I want the alignment to be top and I want to do wrap text so the text wraps within a cell so it doesn't and then that makes life nice for me let's save that and then I'm going to go back here and do some more categorizing and that's what I'd like you to do is go through all these and categorize and if it's a longer comment split it and form a category and if you think you know, say there's learning and they liked, I don't know, they, they it helped them understand the concept. Well, that's different than studies. So you might do learn and study. Or maybe it's learn in a general comment. I don't know, but you, that's the whole point of this exercise is for you to develop these categories as you're analyzing the data. Then, um, as you do, uh, you go and, and um, you add it to your scoring scheme here. So you have, I put learn as a category. I think I want that. Uh, student mentions something about learning. Okay, and notice how it wrapped there. And I'm going to go back. So that's the likes. I also want you to assess the dislikes. And again, splitting the comments up if there's more than one comment. Um, so here's the whole comment, but you may be making more than one point. You want to maybe break it up into three or four sections, and therefore you have to insert here, uh, insert a space, and then copy the, the comment down. If it's only two comments, you may have to do it if you have to do it a couple of times if there's three points being made. Alright, so that's what I want you to do. Uh, to start your content analysis.